So uh, once I was run up, I called the tower, and the tower said, uh, uh, do not depart where the, the uh, field is experiencing an emergency. And I said, I'm aware of that. I'm responding to the emergency. And I said, okay, go ahead. Uh, so we took off. Uh, the ceiling was at 200 feet with about a quarter mile of visibility. So as soon as we took off, we almost went into the clouds instantly coming off of the, the eagle's nest. Uh, I did a left turn, flew to South Capitol Street Bridge, flew across South Capitol Street Bridge just at a height above the lights so that I could maintain contact with the ground by looking through the chin bubble, looking between my feet, because looking straight ahead was nothing. It was just gray with the snow going by us. So we flew down the Southwest Freeway, jumped over LaFont Plaza Bridge, came to the 14th Street Bridge, and Mother Nature cooperated and turned off the snow just for a moment, just for a couple moments. And we could see that the inbound bridge was empty but there appeared to be a motor vehicle accident on the Virginia, on the, on, towards the Virginia shore, and that the ice was shattered and there appeared to be debris all over the ice. So we flew past the accident scene on the bridge and saw vehicles like a major multi-vehicle accident, turned right, people were standing all along the shoreline, people were standing all along the bridge, and there looked to be a fuselage portion and debris scattered throughout that ice. So we did one quick pass over it, looked down and confirmed that there actually were people on the debris. So we assumed that all these people on the side of the river got out of the aircraft, made it to shore, and these poor folks that were stuck about 150 feet out between the two bridges were the ones who couldn't get over to shore before the ice broke up and trapped them. So that was our, our, our initial assumption because there were people everywhere, everything. Uh, now this was at 420. So we arrive on scene at 420. It took us 10 minutes from 410 to 420 to get over there uh, from the call out and then fly over. And then uh, we began First, we went to an individual who was flailing around in the river within 20 yards of the other victims that were on this piece of fuselage. So we went right to him because he's obviously he's in trouble right away.